lapit na po, uh, nakikita natin sa screen ang motorcade ng presidente. So, maghanda po tayo. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the Philippines, President Rodrigo Roa Duterte. Once again, President Rodrigo Roa Duterte. Sa piling mo, di ko mawawala ang korupsyon. Muli maaari po tayong umupo na lahat. Salamat po. Sa puntong ito, tinatawagan po namin si Governor Mujib Hataman para sa kanyang welcome remarks. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wabarakatuh. Sa ating mahal na Pangulo, Mayor Rodrigo Roa Duterte at ang buong gabinete na andito ngayon. Sa chairman ng MILF at ng buong kasapian ng MILF, kay Chairman Ibrahim Murad Al-Hajj, kay Chairman Yusuf Jikiri at ang buong kasapian ng Moro National Liberation Front. Sa ating mga kababayan, magandang hapon po sa ating lahat. Binuklod tayo ng ating kasaysayan bilang mga Moro at bilang mga Pilipino. Sa araw na ito ay lumikha po tayo ng isang bagong kasaysayan. Lalong-lalo na po sa lunes, isang mahalagang muhon o milestone sa kasaysayan natin ang magaganap. Pagbobotohan na ang plebisito para buwin ang mas makatarungang autonomiya ng bangsa Moro. Maraming, maraming ulit ko na pong idiniin ang aking panawagan. Ang yes sa Bangsamoro Organic Law ay yes sa ating mga pangarap. Kung may BOL, mas malaya ang pamahalaang Bangsamoro na magdesisyon para sa sarili. Mababawasan na ang paulit-ulit at mahabang pasahan ng pakiusap at pagmamakaawa sa pagitan natin at ng mga tagamay nila. Mas mapabilis ang pagbaba ng serbisyo ng gobyerno sa mga tao. Bukod pa rito ang BOL, ang pinakasagisag at tagumpay ng prosesong pangkapayapaan. Kung maratipay ito, magiging malinaw ang mensahe sa lahat. Tapos na ang gulo. Bagaman kailangan pa bantayan at kailangan pa ingatan, masasabi nating narito na ang kapayapaan. Ano ho ang benepisyo ng kapayapaan? Wala pa nga ho ang kapayapaan, proseso pa lang ang laki na ng ating tagumpay. 
sa loob ng pitong taon, tumaas ang ating ekonomiya, ang ating GDP mula 0.4% ng 2012 ay tumaas ng 7.3% noong 2017. Pumapangatlo po tayo sa buong Mindanao. Naalala ko nga ho ang kwento ni Biclaw sa akin sa Dabao nang inimbitahan ako sa isang kumperensa ng mga businessman. Sabi niya, Governor Mujib, mataas ang GDP ng Mindanao, 12%. Pa pero pag hindi binibilang ang GDP ng ARMM, Pero pag ipasok mo ang GDP ng ARMM, bumabagsak ng 6% ang GDP ng buong Mindanao. Pangalawa ho, dahil sa proseso ng kapayapaan, dalawang probinsya na ng ARMM ang wala sa mga pinakamahirap na probinsya ng ating bansa. Dahil sa proseso ng kapayapaan, marami na ho sa ating lokal na pamahalaan Sa, sa katunaya, nandito ho si SILG. Numero uno ang ARMM sa mga pinakamahusay na local government at awardee ng Seal of Local Government. Salamat po sa lahat ng mga aktor at stakeholder na nakiusa upang maabot natin ang puntong ito. Lalong-lalo na nga po sa mga direktang nagsumikap upang maratipikahan ang BOL. Kay Pangulong Duterte, maraming maraming salamat, Sir, sa iyong pagsisikap. Dahil sa iyo, inabot natin ang araw na ito. Kay Senator Migs, ang champion ho ng BOL sa Senado, maraming maraming salamat, Senator Migs. Sa ating mga kongresista na andito ngayon, Sa pangunguna ho ng ating Deputy Speaker for Muslim Mindanao, si Kongresista Bay Sandra, Ruby Sahali, Ami Sangkopan, ang Kongresista ng North Cotabato ho natin, si Papandayan, sa inyong lahat at sa iba pa na hindi ko nabanggit, maraming maraming hong salamat ho sa inyo. Sa lahat ng miyembro ng BTC na andito ngayon, sa pangunguna ho ng ating Chair, Si, kay Chair Jafar, Sir, maraming maraming salamat sa inyo. Tandaan po natin, kakailanganin ng Bangsa Moro ang patuloy na saporta mula sa lahat. Paglipas ng susunod na linggo, marami pang kailangang gawin para masigurong magtatagumpay hindi lamang ang plebisito, kundi pati ang transisyon at ang pagsilang at pagsulong ng Bangsa Moro Autonomous Region in Muslim Mindanao. At sa mga paglalakbay pa nating hinaharap, huwag sana nating kalimutan na sa pagkakaisa pa rin ang susi ng anumang tagumpay, binubuklod tayo ng ating kasaysayan. Totoo ito dahil sama-sama tayong dumaan sa pasakit, sama-sama tayong dumaan sa hamon at pagsubok, Sama-sama tayong lumaban at sama-sama tayong nagtagumpay. Totoo ito para sa bawat isa sa mga ating mga ninuno na humawak ng sandata, sino mang manakop ang kalaban. Totoo ito sa bawat magulang na naghintay sa anak at sa bawat anak na hindi nakabalik. Totoo ito sa lahat ng lumisan at sa lahat ng naiwan. Totoo ito para sa mga kapatid natin, moro man o hindi, na nagbuhos ng pawis at nagtaya ng sariling kapakanan upang isulong ang bangsa moro organic law. Insya Allah, patuloy nating pagtibayin at ipamalas ang ating kapatiran bilang mamamayang moro at bilang mga Pilipino. Sa inyong lahat, maraming salamat at welcome. Maraming salamat po, Governor Hataman. Ngayon, tinatawagan po namin si MILF Chairman Alhaj Murad Ibrahim para sa kanyang mensahe.
بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله وبه نستعين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته مجندان حبون سينجون لهات انغاتين مكبناكما محل نبنغلو President Rodrigo Roa Duterte President of the Republic of the Philippines mga membro ng cabinet ng Pangulo military officials local government officials my brothers and sisters from the MILF and MNLF mga mahal na guests Brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I am humbled and truly touched by this singular privilege of having all of you come down to Cotabato City, the then seat of the once powerful Maguindanao Sultanate that resisted Spanish colonization and subjugation for over 300 years. The city is where the Lawasa Maguindanao, a small creek in the heart of the city, and where that powerful sultanate derived its name Maguindanao, and from where we, in turn, derived the name of the island of Mindanao. To our gallant Mujahideen, as we transition from revolution to governance, from war to peace, and from bullets to ballots, we are truly grateful. We, we are truly grateful for all the sacrifices you have endured and today we have come at a time when we are at the finishing line of our struggle, insha'Allah. As we transition from this revolution to governance, our success lies on how we are going to mobilize our people and the other people of the area in supporting us in order to succeed in this next level of our struggle. We know that the challenges ahead for us is much greater than what we have surpassed in the past. It is not an easy job to transform from a revolutionary to governance. We know that many of us have never been in the government, but we, although we have been in the struggle for more than 40 years, but Inshallah, with our persistence, with our continued effort in order to succeed, Inshallah, with our people, we will succeed in the next level of our struggle, our jihad. To the local government's officials who have shown their overwhelming support in the quest for peace and the ratification of the Bangsamor Organic Law, we offer you our commitment to work with you in a new partnership characterized both by respect and unrelenting drive for so that together we can, we can bring development and progress in every corner of, the, of this region. To our brothers and sisters in the Christian faith, 
another non-Moro indigenous peoples, we offer you the hand of peace and of mutual respect. Let us remain true to the teachings of our religion that foster brotherhood, love, respect, and guarantee of religious freedom and the free exercise of the same. Sa ating pong mga minamahal na mga kababayan, ang paganawagan po natin, tayo po ay magka magkaisa, magsama-sama tayo. Lumabas tayo at bumoto ng yes sa January 21 at sa Pebrero 6, 2019 para mapabilang tayo sa milyon-milyon nating mga kababayan na naghahangad ng kapayapaan at kaunlaran. Ang boto po natin na yes ay boto sa kapayapaan at kinabukasan ng ating mga anak. To our dear President, mahal nating Presidente, Brother President, President Roa, uh, Rodrigo Roa Duterte, we cannot thank you enough for the courage and your unwavering support for the implementation of the peace agreement we signed with the government. We notice that you are always on our side at every critical stage of the process to see to it that the will of the people and the desire of every critical, uh, uh, for, for peace of everyone is made reality. Siguro, kung hindi kayo naging presidente, wala pa tayo ngayong BOL, wala pa tayong Bangsamoro government. Lubos kaming nagpapasalamat. Natatandaan ko pa minsan sinabi ninyo sa amin na kung hindi natin, hindi tayo mag-succeed ngayon sa panahon ko, siguro kailangan pang hintay ninyo yung apo ko na maging presidente para mag-succeed tayo. So, mahal na Pangulo, hindi na natin siguro kailangan Hintayin pa yun, nandito na ngayon, idinilabor na ninyo sa amin yung, yung susi ng kapayapaan, susi ng kaunlaran, at uh, susi ng uh, progreso sa ating bayan at sa lahat ng bangsamuro at lahat ng naka, mga uh, uh, nakatira rito sa teritory. Marami pong salamat, Mr. President. Thank you. In closing, let me appeal. Gusto kong manawagan pa rin sa inyong lahat. Alam namin na meron pa rin mga, mga sektor na uh, hindi pa rin masyadong nagpapakita ng suporta sa BOL. Nanawa, nanan, nananawagan tayo sa kanila na sana bigyan nila ng chance itong BOL dahil minsan lang itong dumating sa atin siguro hindi na ito darating uli kung hindi natin paki, uh, hindi natin uh, kukunin ngayon so i hope na yung mga hindi pa yung mga hindi pa rin sumusuporta ay makita nila kung gaano kaimportante yung kanilang suporta para sa ating kaunlaran. Ito ay hindi para sa MILF, ito ay hindi para sa MNLF, hindi para sa kanino man, kundi para ito sa atin lahat na nandito sa Bangsamoro at saka sa buong Pilipinas. So, marami pong salamat. Inaasahan namin magsama-sama tayo doon sa January 21 at February 6 para lahat tayo bubuto ng yes sa BOL. InsyaAllah. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Maraming salamat po, Chairman Alhaj Murad Ibrahim. At para naman sa ating pangalawang tagapagsalita, tawagin natin si MNLF Chairman Yusuf Jikiri.
Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Alhamdulillah Assalatu wassalamu ala rasulillah Mio Rodrigo Rua Duterte President of the Philippines Honorable Members of Congress and Senate and the House of Representatives, members of the Cabinet, members of the Armed Forces of the Philippines led by General Madrigal and PNP Chief, Brother al Hajj Murad, Chairman of my lab, and the members of his Central Committee, members of the MNLF Central Committee here, here with us, Members of the Bangsamoro Transition Commission, Governor Mujib Hataman, Regional Governor, Government Officials, Brothers and Sisters, Assalamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh. It is warm heartwarming to know that the peace assembly today on the BOL, like the previous ones organized in other areas of the ERMM last month and early this month, is attended by a big number of peace-loving Bangsamoro people representing practically all walks of life. There are, of course, in this gathering, our MNLF and MILF brothers and sisters, the national and local officials, the intellectual and professional sectors, the ulama, women's, youth group, and the civil society in general. We attend this, this assembly because we are obliged by law and political necessity to make a historic decision few days from now. This historic decision and choice can be made only by us and our people, the Bangsamoro. The decision we shall make is the ratification and a play visit of the Bangsamoro Organic Law is scheduled on January 21, 2019. This new law will have a great impact on the lives and future of the Bangsamoro. It affords them with the opportunity to live in peace, progress, and development. Republic Act Number 10054, otherwise known as the Bangsamoro Autonomous Region for Muslim Mindanao. BOL which was signed in Tulu by our beloved President Rodrigo Duterte on July 26, 2018. This law is supported by Congress and the entire Filipino people and now endorsed to the Bangsamoro people for ratification. All of us registered voters in the Bangsamoro areas should go out on play visit day to our respective polling places and cast our yes votes. The ball or bomb is not an ordinary law. I say this because BOL is the product of the 50 long years of the Bangsamoro people's struggle, a struggle involving great sacrifices of blood sweet tears, 
and great amount of efforts and resources. The struggle is led by Menelep and Imaelep. They are the vanguards of the struggle and the Bangsamoro people. The BOL is the convergence or harmonization of all the four peace agreements signed by the MNLF and the MILF with the Philippine government. It may interest us to ask the important question, why the convergence of the four peace agreements of the two Moro fronts? There was a good and compelling reason why the four peace agreements of the MNLF and the MILF were converged and harmonized under the common mechanism known as the Bangsamoro Basic Law that eventually resulted to the legislation of BOL by Congress last year. Few years ago, the Organization of Islamic Cooperation and its series of resolution called on the MNLF and the MILF to work together to protect and preserve the gains of the peace agreements. It advised the Toprons to work for a common mechanism through Bangsamuro Coordinating Forum. With this advice, the MNLF and MILF continued the efforts to bridge the difference from the best interests of the Bangsamoro people. Clearly, the BOL is the better roadmap of the convergence formula. The Bangsamoro people, as one people, should not miss this rare opportunity to move forward. We should end the narrative of conflict and begin to work for peace, progress, and prosperity. In doing that, the first step is to go out and ratify overwhelmingly the BOL. <laughs> After all, the BOL is better than the arm in terms of power and resources. The Bangsamoro Transition Authority, which will govern during the transition period, should bring the collective articulation of the Bangsamoro people. It should be inclusive in its approach and must work not for individual or group entities, but general welfare of the Bangsamoro people. Inshallah, the Bangsamoro Organic Law will be ratified overwhelmingly come January 21, 2019 when, with its ratification. I am confident the Bangsamoro people can now live in peace and prosperity and with the efforts and seriousness of our beloved presidents, thank you very much. Wassalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Maraming salamat po, Chairman Yusuf Jikiri of MNLF. Upang pangunahan ang panunumpa ng pagsuporta, tawagin natin si OPA Peace Ambassador Binibining Faranas Godzinia. Bismillah ar-Rahman rahim In the name of God, the Lord of mercy and the giver of mercy, sa ngala ng Diyos, ang pinakamawain. To His Excellency, our President Rodrigo Roa Duterte, to our esteemed Senator Zubiri, to our Honorable Spokesperson Panelo, to our distinguished secretaries, to the chairpersons of the MILF and the MNLF, and the BTC, to Governor Hataman, to our local officials and to everyone here, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh o pagbati po ng kapayapaan sa inyong lahat. Ngayon po, sa tulong ng ating presidente at ng kanyang mga kaakibat, narito na po at hinahandog po sa atin ang Bangsamoro Organic Law. Ngayon po, nasa kamay po natin ang pagkakataon na magsimula muli. Opo, matagal po tayong nalugmok sa kahirapan at kaguluhan. Pero ngayon po ay binibigyan tayo ng pag pagkakataon na bumangon muli. Para po sa pangkalahatang Bangsamoro, 
sa aming ginagalang na mga nakakatanda, sa aming mga magulang, ang inyong pagboto po para sa Bangsamore Organic Law, when you vote yes for this, ito po ay pagboto hindi lamang po para sa inyo, kundi para rin po sa amin, ang inyong mga anak at ang inyong mga apo. Tulungan niyo po kami na magkaroon din ng isang maganda at ang isang mat mas matatag na Bangsamoro, isang mas matatag na kinabukasan. Para po sa mga kapwa ko Bangsamoro, mga kapwa ko kabataan, to my fellow youth and young professionals, go ahead and claim this right to vote yes to BOL. We don't know when we will have another opportunity to present such kind of change for our region, to realize this type of genuine development, peace and progress for our region. So vote for peace, vote for unity, and vote yes for the BOL. And with that, we will already start to give our pledge for the Bangsamore Organic Law. Please stand up and raise your right hand and repeat after me. I concur that the enactment of the Republic Act number 11054 that the enactment of Republic Act number 11054 or the Organic Law for the Bangsamoro Autonomous Region in Muslim Mindanao or the Organic Law for the Bangsamoro Autonomous Region in Muslim Mindanao will give us the opportunity will give us the opportunity to exercise meaningful governance to exercise meaningful governance and genuine autonomy and genuine autonomy through the establishment of the new Bangsamoro government. Through the establishment of the new Bangsamoro government. I commit to our quest for peace. I commit to our quest for peace. Through taking part in an honest, clean, and orderly plebiscite. Through taking part in an honest, clean, and orderly plebiscite. Which will reflect. Which will reflect. Our collective sovereign will through the ballot our reflective sovereign will through the ballot. For peace, unity, and progress. For peace, unity, and progress. I'll vote yes for the Bangsamoro Organic Law. I'll vote yes for the Bangsamoro Organic Law. Maraming salamat po. Thank you. Maraming salamat, Binibining Godzinia. Sa puntong ito, malugod po naming inaanyayahan ang kalihim ng Department of National Defense, Secretary Delphine Lorenzana, para ipakilala ang ating panauhing pandangal. Mga kababayan, ang ating pinakamamahal na Pangulo, President Rodrigo Roa Duterte. Kindly sit down. My brothers and sisters, Salam. God must be good to us. The fact that we have reached uh, this point uh, after so many years of negotiation and interruptions, uh, we are here, inshallah. God is great. Allahu Akbar. Talaga, kung wala si Allah, mahirapan tayo dito. The fact that we were able to go to Congress uh, smoothly with the minimum of uh, objections, and especially those who are not from Mindanao. National Defense Secretary Delphine Lorenzana, Secretary to the Cabinet, Carlo Alexei Nograle, Social Welfare and Development Secretary Rolando Joselito Bautista, Interior and Local Government Secretary Eduardo Anio, National Security Advisor Hermogenes Esperon Jr., Presidential Spokesperson Salvador Panelo, Presidential Advisor 
on peace, reconciliation, and unity. Carletto Galvez Jr., yung taong talagang nagbuhos ng pawis niya. And we were in constant touch all those months of uh, fighting and willing dealing in Congress. And there were times when we thought even that uh, it would not uh, maybe approve on time. Not that it will not be approved, but on time, as I have committed to Emai Imanep Murad. Sabi ko, we'll try to make it uh, in January or February. But, uh, God was there all along. The honorable members of the House of Representatives, Autonomous Region for Muslim Mindanao, Governor Mujib Hataman, Moro Islamic Liberation Front Chairman Al Hajjaj Murad Ibrahim. Uh, That's the second time. It means to say that you're really very important. The Lord, uh, Moro National Liberation Front Chairman. Yusuf Jekiri, mga kasama ko sa gobyerno, mga pagkapatid kong moro. Uh, first of all, though he's not here, but still he's uh, a critical factor in the overall process of not only Mindanao but the Philippines. And I refer to uh, my good friend, whom I respect, very much also, uh, Nur Miswari. I hope to talk to him in the coming days as we agreed. Sabi ko, hintuin, uh, tapusin muna natin to. Hintuin natin yung atin. Then again, we can resume after the Bang Samoro. Uh, I would call out to him, extend my hand in friendship and peace and I hope that we can strike an agreement that will also promote the interest of the MNLF and the rest of the Moro of Mindanao. Three days from now, the people of the present autonomous region in Muslim Mindanao, Cotabato City, Isabela, and parts of Lanao del Norte and North Cotabato will exercise the right to vote in a plebiscite that will not just address the injustices of the past, but also plot the course towards a brighter and more punishing future for Mindanao. You know, all of these things came about because of subjugation and the colonialization of the rest of the world by the Western power. Kung tayo lang at hindi tayo pumasok dito ng mga banyaga, wala tayong problema. Sa totoo lang. Because we are all Malay. And even if one thing there is new religion sprouting up, we would have just easily agreed by the means of our bloodline the way that we solve the problem. I know, you know, that we were not fighting Filipinos then and now. This is a repercussion, actually, of that problem when we were divided as a nation simply because foreign powers took over Spain for almost 400 years and the Americans for 50 years. I just don't know how to say it, but we did not really die for the sins of people who are not Filipinos by the Malay blood. Hindi naman talaga kailangan sana. But then again, we are left to this problem. And as much as possible, we should limit 
the bloody fight. For alam natin na hindi talaga natin ito kasalanan. But you know, dumating tayo sa ating generation, ganito na. And so we're trying really hard to figure out craft a law or whatever, amend the Constitution that can provide a fair and just governance for all. Nobody would like to take over lands that is not theirs, his, and we understand that. And we would like you to have the control of your territories before the Spaniards came and before the Americans came. Alam namin yan. Alam ko yan, estudyante rin ako. At alam ko kasi ang midodo ko. Ayun man ang sinasabi sa akin noon. Kung hindi lang sila pumunta dito, wala naman talaga tayong problema. And yet we are forced to kill now needlessly because you want something. And I hope I would not address to my beloved friend, Normi Suarez, that we can also talk and come up with something that could come to the barest minimum para lang makuha natin yung a peaceful Mindanao. May I guarantee you that there will be the least disturbance or interference kung meron nandiyang workable governance ninyo. Lands are distributed fairly, justly, resources divided by the Moro who are there in possession of the land. Walang i-istorbo sa inyo. At wala naman talaga. The legendary Liguas and Mars, they say it will provide so many things in life. Oh, the inyo. Wala naman tayo. No, no one ever attempted really to intrude into that territory. Maybe we can finalize it. Alam mo naman dito, pag-presidente ko, the highest incidence of hunger. Kaya noon ako na sana, ano kay, uh, ano pa noon, Tagwalo. At Tagyalo, tag, si Judy Tagyalo, was only taking care of the needs of the NPAs. Pati yung pera pantawid, most of the envelopes that, uh, where the money was uh, being placed, nandoon sa mga kampo ng... So, one palpak to another, it's really very hard. Now, you know, you have dealt with the military. Ito, trabahante lang to. No personal agenda. They go out there and do work at tapos sundin yung order ng mga political officers ng gobyerno. Kasi ganyan man talaga mag-umpisa. Much as we would like to change anything there. Pati yung atin dito, we've been used to it. We are a people governed by elections and we elect leaders. The leaders must be the choice of the people. I am sure that with that, uh, uh, the fundamentals provided by the law and hopefully if we can amend the Constitution, not all, but a few of the economic provisions. And some, well, I do not want to discuss it with you now, because yun na ang sunod natin, and hindi na ninyo problema yun. Yours would just really be to ask for the law that will further enhance the governance of the Bangsamor law. 
So, sayang talaga. Mas kinasabihin mo, even the ordinary, moro, na sa labas, na walang kakilalang politiko, walang kilalang polis, walang kilalang militare, walang kilalang lida. Sila ang dapat nga mauna eh. Because they are the helpless sector of society. And I hope that the BUL would focus also on that. That a man, whatever his religion may be, he is entitled to his place under the sun. Maraming mahirap. Hantung out and for generations. Sa kalaki ng Pilipinas, hindi man maubos, no? And with an improved governance, where you are allowed also to enter into agreements, as long as it does not uh, cause a disturbance sa ating financial system, we will allow the local governments to invite investments and get loans to help your people. Ako gusto ka talaga yung maamaliit mauna. Sila yung gutom eh. The survey shows when I was president, when was that? Three years ago? The highest ang... Alam mo, nagmotor ako minsan. Nila ako kilala eh. Nagmotor ako galing sudat papuntang Cotabato City. <laughs> Tapos, eh medyo nasira yung isang tambutso. Eh lumuwang, mahulog. Di, eh, nag... And from out of the blue, naglabasan itong mga kapatid ko. Na so everybody was afraid. I said, there's no, no, there's no reason to be afraid. I'm just here to look at something. And maybe if you can spare food. Huwag kayong matakot na suddenly they will just materialize them. Walang trabaho. Walang pangkain. No, no, no relief in sight. Kaya ka kaya nausap mo. Anong, ano na Wala. Puro wala, puro wala, pagkain, kamuting kahoy, anak ka na. At this age, umaabot ng asabuan yung itong mga Westerners, tapos may mga muro pa na hanggang ngayon kamuting kahoy lang, di ka na even till the land. Kasi kung may land man, but uh, ang land reform ko, pati dito, I don't mind if it's your territory. I will let uh, the land reform to take place. Kayo man ang mag, maghati-hati. But I will be there to help you. Yung abono, yung seedlings, and all. Until such time that uh, the Bangsamoro territory will prosper. Then, by that time, I can really say that we have come to AIDS. That was not part of my written speech. I just trying to express to you my sentiment. This is why today I proudly join my Moro brothers and sisters as we convene this peace assembly in support of the ratification of the Banks of Moro Organic Law. Your approval of this law will not only serve as an expression of your desire to end more than half a century of armed struggle in the region. It will also serve as a testament to your determination to bring genuine peace and development in Muslim Mindanao through an autonomous government that truly represents and understands the needs of the people. 
Ano ano ng kampanya ako? I visited Cebu. So nandoon ako sa mga statues ng mga tapos nakita ko yung istatwa ni Magellan. Masyado malaki. Tapos pagtingin ko doon kay Lapu-Lapu, yung sa ano? Bubakit so, tambo ang na ito? Ito'y ito yun dito, nagpunta dito, nagwala, nagkagulo tayo. Ang monumento niya, mas malaki pa doon sa pumatay sa kanya. Yun ang matapang. Yung moro na sila pulapo. Ano makita mo yung headband niya, ano? Depicted in the picture. Of course, wala namang ano. Eh, that's it, tausog, ano yan. Yan yung headdress ni Miswari. Kaya nung, alam mo, nung manawas sa uh, congressman, uh, mayor, I was uh, with a grieving heart. Kasi, andito naman itong mga taga Luzon, itong mga taga Bicol, aba po, Walang, walang hero na labas sa Luzon. Puro, what, no, walang problema. Gregorio del Pilar, Juan, ano. Galit rin sila sa mga banyaga. But ang mga napili nila na hero, puro Tagalog, Ilocano. Eh, Ilocano, matatapang rin yan. Ang ating warriors dito, sa Pilipinas, well, the Moro Warrior, Tausog. Ah, hindi ako believe dyan sa mga... Pero yung mga abusaya, you know, hindi talaga natin ugali. You, know. you do not kill an eight-year-old boy because of no ransom paid. Dyan ako, hindi tsaka na. Ito... ito take maybe one year for me to talk to them para ma... Because I do not simply like the idea of cutting heads of people, innocent people. Pati yung bata na kinidnap na hindi naman. What's the fucking sense of doing it? It is not... Huwag nila kong gulahin... There is a part of me which is Islam, actually. Kaya kung mag-away-away kami ng mga buang na pare, na yan, hindi mo nako, katoliko. Islam mo na, totoo. Mga simba lang ako dyan. Sa Ateneo, sa San Beda, eh pwede kami po, maraming muro namin dyan sa... Pinakamari may muro sa Manila Aral San Beda. Pinakamarami. Ilocano pati muro ang San Beda. Pero sana makausap natin si and I'd like to thank also well, in a way si Sator pati si ano there, there's a way of a difference in our views, but uh, the fact that uh, they would listen and Bobby Di Maporo, gusto ko ang pumunta magpasalamat lang. Just for being there to listen. Okay na yun. Tapos we can talk. Maybe get uh, another uh, uh, system where it can really work. Yun lang ang gusto ko. Baka itong komunista pakapin na ito. But I will never, never, never talk with the Abu Sayyaf. Hindi talaga po. Hindi talaga po. Kailan man, terorista. Itong mga komunista, papuntahin ko lang sila doon sa Mekob. Basta doon lang kayo sa buong sabang samuro. Doon na kayo mag-istambay kayo. Bigyan kayo lupa ni Mura doon. Dito, galit na ako sa inyo, mga gago kayo.
as the centerpiece legislation of my administration, the BOL has been the product of a long and rigorous process that involved meaningful and exhaustive consultations by one another and for all of us here who are concerned. We listen to the indispensable sentiments and concerns of Muslim, Christians, Lumads, and other indigenous peoples and various stakeholders who also call Mindanao their home, and rightly so. Saan man tayo papunta? Saan mo ako pawiin? Hindi naman ako si Buano talaga. Tatay ko nagpunta dito sa Mindanao. This landmark law was not built entirely from scratch. It echoes the aspirations and principles embodied in the past peace agreements with different more of France. Indeed, it is a product of the blood, sweat, and tears of many great men who came before us. I'd like to remind you of the 1972 campaign. It was bloody. And what, what was re really lacking there was just a plain and simple, constructive conversation. Sayang yung panahon na. I was a prosecutor then. Magmakikita ko yung both sides. Pwede yung bakbaka dyan sa PC Hill. Talang ko lang kwinta-kwintang away. This just can be resolved by just talking. You know, just to raise the, the spirit, the soul of a moral. Uh, pagka president ko, di nagyaw-yaw ako. Sabi ko, lahat ng hero inyo, Ngayon, presidente na ako, amin na naman. So, <laughs> sa unang ginawa ko, the order of Lapu-Lapu, lahat na sundalo, ki Mahulohano, ki Tausog, ki Maranao, ki yung Tagadabaw, pati yung lahat. Mga sundalo ko na may tama, medal yan. Ak ako ang nagbibigay ng sarili kong medal. Aside from the government, yung sa military, mayroon nga sila mga valor, yung talagang extreme courage. Marami rin yan sa MI pati MN. Mali, wala lang panahon magseremonya kasi sige man takbo. Wala ba sila kampong mauwian? No, Magagong ka pa doon, doon doon celebrate. Kasi kung hindi, isali ko sila. Baski na kamatamaan lang yan dito matusok ng bala. Kayo, kayong matagal na sa away. Matamaan ka lang ng tamtak anak ng witing. Aray-aray ka na dyan. Kaya pambala. Wala sa akin. I'm telling you, hindi lahat na ano, sabihin mo, kristyano. Marami rin mga muro nandyan sa armed forces. And I simply love them. And I, I really care for them. Nagpunta ako doon sa, oh, sa doon sa hulo, sa hospital, sa autista. May doon doon uh, sugatan. Tapos, ang una kong tinatanong, kasi pamilya eh, kasi kung mabyudo o mabyuda, ilan ang problema natin maiwan? Because it does not end in the death of a soldier or policeman or a warrior of the MI or MN. Hindi natatapos yan dyan. The next crown dyan is Paano mo na buhayin ang mga bata, pakainin, education, and all? Alam mo, sinasabi ko ngayon dito sa inyo, 
the first thing that I would maybe invest na malaki is iskwilahan. Unless, unless, <laughs> hindi ninyo itutulak yan technical. We have to go to Egypt or Malaysia. Ako nag sponsor ako ng engineers doon sana sa Egypt. They have great schools there of engineer. Problem is, uh, it is visited with violence from time to time. So I decided on Malaysia. Po dapat sa inyo, ang una talaga, huwag na yan masyado yung batas kasi magkaiba ang Sierra Law. Maybe in the next few years, uh, you will call for a talagang Uh, Sharia law ang gusto ninyo. Uh, okay man sa atin yan. It's, it's a freedom of religion. As long as there is that tolerance for each other's religion. Walang problem. If you are not under the jurisdiction of the Sharia, then you go to the civil courts. That's, that's really no problem. Oh... Uh, I am proud to say that the BOL has undergone comprehensive analysis and thorough review to ensure that once implemented, it will lead to better governance, inclusive political empowerment, and enhanced systems of transparency and accountability. To my dear Bangsamoro brothers and sisters, as you exercise your sacred right to vote, this plebiscit, I remind you that the power to chart the course or your future is now solely in your hands. Exercise this right with utmost care because the future of succeeding generations depend on it. By the way, before I forget, uh, uh, ano kasi na, na, nasingit dito? Okay lang. Sir, Senator Mig Subirio was not mentioned a while ago during your greeting. Wala sinabi ko yung hero dito. Blood, sweat, and tears ka na. Tayo nga nagtatawagan. Well, the, you know, well, the, but it was being passed. Hindi lang kasi kami mayabang. Sa totoo, ako, ako ang isang tao na I do not want adulation. Ayaw ko. Ayaw ko yung mga yung burakay it was supposed to open on that day sa kita ko doon salamat, Presidente Duterte sabi ko sa police military tanggalin na yan hindi ako pumunta kasi para sa akin bayad na ako so I do not need the clapping of the hands. I've been mayor for 23 years Congressman for one term, Vice Mayor Inday, one term. Nagmumotor ba si Inday dito? Walang ginawa yun eh, magmotor. Ano, o, alam mo, Senator Subere, ako na mismo. Paliitan ko yung tangin na yung si Magela na yun. Medyo gawaan kita ng taas-taas. Pero kulayan kita ng medyo maitim, pati yung ilo mo, babaan ko. Kasali ka sa ano eh, invading process. Mga katsila. I am very hopeful that the ratification of BBOL Mindanao can finally enjoy lasting peace and inclusive growth that will benefit the entire Philippines, not only you. It will mark a new chapter in our history of the nation. One every person, one that uh, every person is treated with respect regardless of the one's ethnicity, gender, religion, or ide ideological leaning. I am therefore issuing this call to my former fellow Moro, 
Let us use the plebiscite as a peaceful means to finally correct the historical injustice committed against the Moro, Bangsamoro people, or the Moro people of Mindanao. Let us forget the bitterness of the past and look forward to the future. Which means, ladies and gentlemen, mamahal kong mga Moro brother or sister, magboto kayo ng yes. Eh, pag hindi, hindi naman punta dito kailanman. <laughs> Doon lang ako sa Lanao. Sige man ako sa Lanao. Together, let us take this opportunity to begin the process of healing, reconciliation, so that one day we can embrace each other as really brother and sister Filipino. With uh, a, a, a view of intolerance in all understanding and take the new world uh, on its totality. Every day. So, so we, we must insist violence. We must insist against violence. Now, around it, it could be baskis and ang masakit. It's only in the areas of Arabs who are Muslims. Na alam na natin na sino nag-umpisa ng gulo dyan. Started noon pa yan. Hindi si kinikitoy nila si Kadapi pati si si Saddam. Man, they killed Saddam. They killed Saddam. Uh, that's a problem. So we must stand together. May mga diferensya, diferensya. Ayusin natin. But we must stand together against violence, against ISIS. Because they do not know anything except to kill. Oh, how, how are we supposed to, 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 to survive as a nation? Kung if you treat your other fellow human beings as infidel, that's a very stupid uh, proposition. I know that. It's never a, 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 a proposition in a way. It's so silly. So I hope that we can understand each other. Me, I will use my a little bit of this and a little bit of this, just as though tell you that we are all for peace. That nobody but nobody should uh, steal your resources and allow you to remain poor forever. That cannot happen. It will not happen, at least under me. Thank you. Maraming salamat po, mahal na Pangulo. Uh, may we request the President to grant a photo opportunity in three branches? Uh, batch 1, please prepare, including ARMM Governor Mujib Hataman. Batch 1, please come up the stage. Batch 2, please prepare. Batch 2 are the members of the Bangsamoro Transition Commission, Government of the Philippines, and Moro Islamic Liberation Front Mechanism, Armed Forces of the Philippines, and the Philippine National Police. Batch 1 po.
batch 3 to follow after batch 2. Okay, thank you, Batch 1. Batch 2, please come up the stage. Members of the Pangsamoro Transition Commission, Yusek Nabiltan, please come up the stage. Please, we are reminding you of no selfie rule. Batch 2, please proceed to the stage. Members of the Pangsamoro Transition Commission and Yusek Nabiltan. We are also calling uh, the members of the Armed Forces of the Philippines and the Philippine National Police, sir. Kasama po kayo sa batch 2. Again, batch 2, members of the BTC, Yusek Nabiltan, the Armed Forces of the Philippines and the Philippine National Police. Okay, nakaayos na po sila. Batch 3, please prepare. Kasalukuyan po ay batch 2 ito. Thumbs up sign. Okay, thank you po sa batch 2. Peace sign. Maraming salamat po sa batch 2. Kayo po ay pwede nang bumaba. At ang batch 3 naman po ang kailangang aakyat na sa stage. Composed of our governors, vice governors, and all our mayors from Lanao del Norte, and Maguindanao. Again, batch three, the governors, the vice governors, the mayors of Lanao del Norte and Maguindanao and Lanao del Sur. Tawi-tawi lahat na po ng governors and vice governors and mayors. Ayan, so nagpe-prepare na po ang batch 3. Peace sign. Thumbs up sign. Thank you very much, batch number three. And thank you, Mr. President, for granting the photo ops. This ends our program. Maraming salamat po sa lahat ng dumalo. Salamat sa BTC, sa MILF, sa MNLF.
Muli huwag po natin kalimutan bumoto sa darating po na plebisito January 21, 2019 at sa February 6, 2019. This has been your host. Ako po si Muhammad Dustin Pandatun. At ako po si Cher Rui Vivar. Maraming salamat po sa lahat. We are requesting everyone to please settle down. Again, we are respectfully requesting everyone to please settle down. Mupo na po tayo sa ating mga designated seats. Again, we are requesting everyone to please settle down. Umupo po muna tayo. Hintayin po natin na makalabas ang ating mahal na Pangulo bago po tayo magsitayuan. Again, we are requesting everyone to please settle down, take our respective seats, and let's wait for the President to leave the vicinity before we start. Marami, marami salamat po sa inyong kooperasyon. Uh, once again, we are requesting everyone to please settle down, take our respective seats. Muli yung mga amin pong minamahal na mga bisita, mangyari po lamang ay umupo po muna tayo, hintayin po natin na makalabas ang ating mahal na Pangulo bago po tayo magsitayuan. Muli, maraming salamat po, Mr. President, sa pagdalo dito sa Cotabato City. Uh, thank you po, Mr. President. President Rodrigo Roa Duterte.